Hello. So, today's video I'm going to show you how to illustrate a ribbed jeans. Now, before you start illustrating a jeans, you need to understand the character of each and every fabric. So, a denim would always have a double stitch line, the loops, the rivets, right? That is the character of a fabric. Uh, similarly, see the pockets and uh, can you see the double stitch line? Uh, before illustrating, you need to understand all this thing. Okay, so uh, over here also, can you see the stitch lines and can you see the frayed effect and the metallic buttons and especially can you see the shades created because of the uh, dye of the double stitch when you uh, do the double stitch on a dyed fabric. So starting first with uh, the pose. Once the pose is done, the second step is to give the garment outline. Right, so I'm giving a fly i'm giving the loops i'm giving this butter uh, pocket and the coin pocket I'm giving the cuff the rolled up uh, jeans so uh, understand when you're giving a rolled up jeans don't give a straight line it goes in a curve right so because it's cylindrical your body cylindrical so it would not go straight now the third step is i'm giving the crease line and all the detailing so i'm adding the double stitch line I'm adding the crease lines, right, the coin pocket I did. Uh, again, the area where I'm going to give that frayed effect, the ripped jeans. So those area also I'm marking it. Giving the crease line. So if it's a fitted jeans, the knee area would be creased. Now these are the colors I'm going to use. Uh, the four colors which I've identified for the jeans starting first with the lighter tone now what I'm doing is uh, the area which is going to be the lightest I'm marking those area right so, so the loop I've made it lighter now my crease lines all my crease lines are going to be lighter and the shadow of the crease would be darker the pocket stitch line that also is going to be lighter so once I've identified the crease light now what I'm doing is I'm adding the base color so I'm taking this light blue color and I'm giving the shading so that's my base color the first color All right so even for the ripped effect even for the uh, uh, ripped the toned up look what I'm doing is I'm not going to color that I'm going to do a reverse uh, coloring that is I'm going to do the darker tones on the other area now this is my second color, second blue color. So leaving all the area which is I've identified as the lighter tones that I would not color and all the other part I'm giving a second tone to it. Right. So that's how my all my crease lines. So I'm, uh, the main crease line is light and what I'm doing is darker tone on the uh, sides, the shadow effect, right. So giving the base color to the whole area. So this is my second tone. Uh, my button, I'm leaving it white and adding crease line highlighting the fly the double stitch line yes so that's how you do the rendering the, your main crease line would be lighter and the other side is going to be both the other sides of the fall of the crease would be darker okay now while doing your denim also identify what is the color of your denim your jeans it could be ice blue it could be baby blue it could be steel blue so there are many many different kind of uh, blues also it could be gray it could be a cloud gray or a fossil gray or coal gray right so this uh, denim what I'm doing is more like a dark teal color so there are many many blues while illustrating you should know which blue you're talking about okay so that goes for the loop so if you see my stitch line i have left the main area 
very light in the other area I am making it darker yeah since we are talking about jeans do you know it was first invented in 1873 it's, uh, hundreds of years back and the guy who invented was uh, invented jeans was Levi's Strauss and Jacob Davis they were the first one who invented uh, jeans and uh, the jeans was basically pants uh, which were more like work clothes uh, a dungaree and it was made up of denim so denim is a fabric and jeans is the pant now the denim as say they say is derived from the uh, name of a French city Nemes so de Nemes that's how it was and then the word came as denim denim is something on that line so that's about your history about your denim your jeans so Levi's your Levi's jeans were the first uh, manufacturer the first guy who invented jeans and that was a time when uh, jeans was only worn by the worker class so that was a time when there was like you know major distinction between a uh, rich and a poor so jeans was basic, basic basically a poor men's dress the workers dress okay now I'm adding a black color to add the darker tones right so the crotch area is going to be darker the fly the shadow of the fly with that part I'm making it darker my crease lines I'm highlighting it and making it darker okay so giving the darker tones so that gives you the depth now while coloring also I'm using a two directional uh, shading so if it was a satin fabric I'll do the rendering only in one direction but because it is denim and it is roughish texture then that's the reason I'm using a two directional now understand this is very important while doing the frayed effect I'm doing a negative rendering that means I'm leaving all the area which is supposed to be white I'm leaving it blank and I'm doing rendering on the other side the reverse side right of course the many there are many times they use white pen also to give the white effect but uh, the right method is <laughs> do the reverse side okay I'm adding halkasa skin tone and darker tones adding black just to give that more depth so it's a fitted jeans so crease lines are going to be more towards the thighs now again while uh, doing jeans you need to know the styling also there are different different kinds of jeans like you have uh, skinny jeans and you have this relaxed fit you have bell pants and boot cut cropped cuffed so there are many many different varieties of jeans and uh, you need to know them right you're a designer you need to know your details technical details very thoroughly so giving darker tones at the sides now again giving skin and then a reverse uh, coloring that means I'm not coloring the white area giving darker tones Now this ripped effect are uh, there are many different kind of effect given in the jeans. So there are many times wrinkling is done and scrapping is done and then there is a, a frayed look and the ripped look. Similarly there are different kind of washes also in jeans. So you have uh, the enzyme wash and the stone wash and uh, sand blasting is done many times and uh, bleach wash. So this fading effect done. So with jeans also there are so many things you can learn. Okay, the darker tones. Okay, so when you have a rolled up, the other side, the reverse side of the jeans is usually a lighter color. 
so that's how I've given a cup in a lighter tone. Now doing the second side of the pan, giving the coin pocket. See how I've created a crease line, and uh, my crease line is white. The main bump is white, and the reverse side, both the sides are darker. That's how you create a, a 3D effect. That's how you create that depth. Yeah. Again, I um, left the white area, the frayed edges of the white area, uh, white threads. Added halkasa, just a tinge of skin color. Okay, many times because your hands are sweaty and if you're uh, coloring, uh, it blow, uh, you know, it bleeds. Uh, that means the sketch becomes uh, smudgy. So it's always uh, advisable to keep a tissue paper underneath or any paper underneath uh, so that your, does, your sketch does not uh, bleed or doesn't uh, become smudgy. So it's very simple to do denim. The frayed look. So it's very simple. Starting first with the body, identify your design elements. Uh, second, third step is give your crease lines, mark your important uh, points like your pockets and your rivets and your frayed uh, uh, patches, whichever you want. Uh, third step is give the baseline. Fourth step is uh, color the darker tones of your creases, and you're almost done. Add a black tone. So we are done subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be uploading many more videos which are going to be informative where you are going to learn many many things and don't forget to hit the bell button otherwise how will you know uh, when i upload my design whenever i upload my videos right so that's about it our denim is ready I'm adding a highlight for the white, but I don't think it's making too much of a difference. So this is white uh, rectifier, what I'm using to just give that depth, the 3D. So my denim is done. I hope you enjoyed. Please, if you want to learn how to illustrate, you need to practice it. So keep practicing, otherwise you won't learn. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you. Subscribe to my channel.